What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fezzy Fitness. So I'm gonna start this video with a bad news for the bodybuilding fans. I have been covering Bahro Sabani regularly in my videos. Not only because I love his physique and admire his work ethic, but because I want to use this small bodybuilding outlet to give maximum support to this Iranian brother. Turns out his visa application has been denied. This has just been confirmed by Milos, his coach. It's really heartbreaking to see what Behroz has to go through. Imagine preparing so hard for years and years to get to that dream stage for any bodybuilder. And when you finally earned it, you just cannot travel because of your nationality. Just a sad reality. I do hope this visa problem gets solved once and for all. There is a reason Hadi Chopin is considered the biggest threat to Begrami. No one, absolutely no one comes close to the conditioning that Hadi brings to the stage. I think it has something to do with the training. He trains like an animal. Ian Valier is a conditioning guy and he himself said that he hasn't seen anyone more conditioned than Hadi Chopin in person ever. Nick Walker said that when Hadi took his jacket off and started pumping up backstage at the Olympia 2021, he was unreal. And now Urs was asked who was the most impressive guy backstage in 2021. One name came out, and that's Hadi Chopin. Who was the most impressive to you last year backstage? Hadi. Yeah. While so many of these guys are claiming that they will be 260 or whatever, Hadi is gonna make them look soft weighing mid 220s. Initially, many people disagreed with Derek Lensford being given a special invite. To compete in the open class. But now, as you are just a days out, people are glad that they gave it to him. He is gonna be such a wild card in this lineup. And no matter how experienced any bodybuilding guru is, no one can predict how Derek will do at his open Olympia debut. The argument that they won't push conditioning as hard as they did last year. It's already been debunked. Just look at those striations when he hits the most muscular. Yeah, he is looking kinda small, but that was taken 11 days out, in a fully carbs depleted state. Wait till Honey Rambot fills him up. It's gonna be a different story. Do not sleep on Ian Valier as he won't be missing on conditioning mark, especially this year when the room for error for a guy like Ian is literally none. Why? Because he does not have the best structure, so he is gonna have to cover the ground with crazy conditioning. That midsection is looking very much improved because Ian has been hitting those abs regularly. Last year, he managed to coach Chris Bumstead, getting the gold for him or getting 7th place for himself. This year, there is an added benefit of no pressure of peaking another athlete. I see Ian coming at his all-time best. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.